What's up guys, Eek with East Coast Ken here for Text Talking Shop. This month we are talking about a project that we worked on that just absolutely kicked our butts. So this is mine, let's go ahead and get this camera turned around and we'll talk about that right there, that little bumper from you know where. All right guys, so this bumper did not always look this good. It was not this well done because it was a nightmare. To start with, it came in on the Miata held on by two bolts and some zip ties because the front passenger side had some frame damage and that's where it all started. So once we got that bumper off from the Miata, it was fiberglass. The entire thing is fiberglass and it's an aftermarket bumper, obviously. And uh, it just, every little thing about it was horrible. There were some cracks in it where you guys could, you could tell that somebody had probably ran into a curb or something like that. Maybe the little bump stops in the parking lot and just absolutely just demolished it. So we went ahead and put some fiberglass on it and reinforced it. That was the first thing. And when we did that, we didn't mix it properly. And there was some air pockets inside of that fiberglass material. So with those air pockets, they sanded it down. It, they popped and you could see little divots and craters inside of it. So that's when I really got involved with it. And it took me forever to get those air pockets out of it. Once I got them all out, I was able to get it smoothed down with some glazing putty and I got it into the paint. So once we got it in here into the paint booth, we went ahead and we put the first coat of epoxy primer on it. Once I got done with the epoxy primer, I mixed up 2K primer, put that on it, and then I sprayed jet black on it because that's what color we used underneath the purple to make it that dark color. Well, once I got it sprayed with the jet black, it literally spider webbed through the entire thing and the jet black paint just slid off from it. So what we think happened is somebody mixed a couple of um, half used cans of like reducer and stuff like that. And they mixed the wrong kinds together, two different uh, companies. And that's what caused that to happen. So once that happened, I ended up taking it and just completely sanding it down all the way back to bare fiberglass and started over. Um, I didn't need to do any more bond or fiberglass repair, but I had to do the epoxy primer, the 2K primer, and then the jet black all over again before we could get it set with the purple paint. Inside this closet behind us is the paint mixing room. When I mixed the first, that second set of the epoxy primer together, it gummed up and turned like to a cottage cheese. So again, I think what happened is somebody took a bunch of like reducers and mixed them all together to kind of fill one jug. And I was like, I'm not, not spraying this whatsoever, not doing it. So that was another issue that we had with this bumper. So once we got it into the paint booth and used what was the appropriate reducers, activators, it turned out really good, but the project itself was just a complete nightmare to finish. And that right there is the worst project I've done so far or had the most issues with when it comes to auto body work. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out all the techs in Text Talking Shop. Links to their channels will be down in the description box. Y'all have a good day.